Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to the news. Guys, the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, have accused President Bola Tinibu of betrayal over fuel price hike. They are demanding an immediate reversal of the hike in the fuel price. So these are interesting times in Nigeria and the fuel situation continues to worsen as NNPC stations across Nigeria reportedly hiked the petrol price to over 850, 870 per liter, you know, depending on the state. And this PMS situation has indeed gotten out of hands. The Nigeria Labour Congress then accused President Bola Tinibu's administration of betraying the terms and conditions upon which the organized labor accepted the 70,000 Naira new minimum wage. The NLC stated this in a statement signed by its president, Comrade Joajoro, and issued on Tuesday in a reaction to the latest four pump price hike. It explained that the reasons for accepting the 70,000 Naira as the national minimum wage was the understanding that the pump price of the premium of the premium motor spirit PMS would not be increased, adding that they knew that 70,000 Naira was not sufficient. So, they are feeling a deep sense of betrayal because the federal government has drastically increased the pump price of PMS. This comes barely one month after the government promised to commence payment of the new national minimum wage. But then, the government has also increased the pump price in a manner that cannot be explained. Well, we saw earlier that the NNPC had reportedly increased the petrol price to over 850 per litre across the country. Viral videos showed NNPC stations whereby citizens complained of the hike in the price of the fall to over 850, 870 per litre. It was reported that this move by the outlets was in compliance with a directive given by the NNPC management compelling an immediate increment of fuel price from 568 Naira to over 850 Naira. But the NLC president had also described this development as, you know, traumatic and nightmarish, where he stated that this is the biggest betrayal, you know, Joe Ajuro recalled how President Bola Admetinibu gave them the devil alternative to choose either um, 250000 as the minimum wage and be subject to a raise in the, in the pump price between 1000 to 2000 per litre or 70000 naira at the old PMS price. And according to the labor leader, the organized labor opted for the 70,000 naira because they could not accept further punishment on Nigerians. And this came barely one month after the government promised that they would commence with the payment of the new national minimum wage. Now, the labor leader, Joe Ajiro, has expressed deep regret that President Bolad Metinibo's administration has been constantly shown the character of a betrayer. So instead of the promised reversal, the rate has since been jacked up, further putting more Nigerians and businesses in jeopardy. And the combined efforts of governments, you know, right-wing market policies brought Nigerians and Nigeria to an all-time low and led to the hashtag end bad governance protests in Nigeria. Rather than making amends, the government arrested and you know how did into detention some of those who took part in the protests some of those who had nothing to do with these protests charging them with criminal conspiracies subversion terrorism financing cybercrime and all of that 
you know, saying it was an intent to overthrow the government of President Bola Tinibu. The police and other security agencies since have been on rampage, terrorizing the citizen in pursuit of government's agenda of muzzling lawful dissent. And in a bizarre pursuit, they have deframed and, you know, deframed few individuals who are innocent. And the government is not even concerned about the living conditions of Nigerians. But now, look at, instead of, you know, amending, making amends, they are going around arresting citizens. We've not even talked about the reversal of the 250% tariff hike in electricity. We've not even talked about that aspect. Now, it's the PMS. So, Joe Ajoro have demanded that the government should do something serious about this, meaning they should reverse the price of the PMS. You see, I feel that this government is the worst government so far. Indeed, this government is a failure. But this is also, you know, a failure from the NLC leadership. The NLC leadership, they failed on their own path. Yes, they have failed on their own path because they failed to do the needful at the early stage. Now it's too late. I mean, what are they going to do? Obviously, the, the, the federal government have done what they intend on doing. And there's no going back on this. There is no going back on this. I mean, in fact, the NLC, they never see anything. This is just the beginning. They never see anything. Tinibu is yet to show you know, the NLC more shaggy. Because how can they really believe that this government would keep to their words, saying that this is an act of betrayal? I mean, they've been constantly been betrayed by these governments. The NLC accusing Tinibu and the federal government of betrayal is quite laughable. This is to show that uh, they are not serious and I don't think the NLC can ever be serious. Yes, they are not serious. And most times, Nigerians tend to tag the NLC as one of the problems we have in this country. So that is just it. The NLC and the TUC have allowed themselves to be pocketed by this administration. So they've lost their respect. You know, they've lost their respect. I really hope that, you know, they can do right by the people one day. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.